Hi, brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Tim Henderson. And today, hey, Rosie, come here. Come here, Rosie. Come here. Come here, girl. Come here. And this, this, Rosie. Rosie, this is my best friend, Rosie. I'm trying to give you a good, she's such a good girl. Give daddy kisses. Mm, I love you. This is my best friend. I just, often she's with me when I'm doing these uh, videos in my office. And, um, she she loves the dates with daddy in the car. She loves to go in the car. She's such a great companion and best friend. And woo, Rosie, that's some smells. But uh, but I wanted you to see her today. She's just such a blessing. I thank God for those blessings in our life. Lately, she has not wanted to leave my side. There is something going on with my pets that they are just wanting to be by me at all times. I'm not sure what that's all about, but my wife said, you better take her or she's going to cry the whole time. So, uh, so Rosie's with me. And uh, what this video is about, while I believe that the rapture is imminent, that's not the focus of this video. I want to answer the question for those who may not know, how they can know that they have eternal security, how they can know that they are born again, how they can know that they are saved and whether Jesus comes for his bride or their life ends because we're not guaranteed our next breath. James 4.14 says, yet you do not know what your life will be like tomorrow. You are just a vapor that appears for a little while and then vanishes away. That's not a criticism. Some say that's a horrible. <laughs> Non-believers would say that's horrible. That's horrible. That's not encouraging. But it's truth. This physical life that we're living now, we're not guaranteed our next breath. Anything could happen at any moment, as we all know. But that's our bodies. So we're going to have an everlasting destination. The question is, where will that be? Well, how can you be sure? How can you be sure? And if you were to die today and stand before a holy God and he said, why should I let you in heaven? What will my answer be? Well, let's, I want to share my dear, dear brother, Greg Jackson, who I've shared some of his articles before, sent this to me along with a video link. And I just love the way that he can bring things down with his wording. It's just so beautiful. He, it says, in the message, it says, God made eternal salvation ridiculously easy, easy as ABC. Now, I'm going to pause there. That's what my brother said. He is in no way saying that it was cheap. He is in no way diminishing the sacrifice that Jesus made on the cross. So please listen to what he's saying. Listen to what I'm sharing because this is truth. So I want you to hear what how he wrote it. I just think it's fantastic. A. Admit you are a sinner in need of a Savior. B. Believe in the finished redemptive work of Jesus Christ on the cross and his blood alone for the remission of all your sins, past, present, and future, and eternal life. C. Call on the name of Jesus. All who call on the name of Jesus will be saved. That's Romans 10.13. That's right from the Word. The Bible says... The very moment a person places his or her trust in Jesus and his death, burial, and resurrection alone, all of their sins are forgiven and they are guaranteed eternal life in heaven. The very nanosecond we believe we are sealed by the Holy Spirit, the Bible says, until the day of redemption. Eternal salvation, life with God in heaven is a free gift and God promises those who believe and receive the free gift by simple childlike faith they will never perish. Have you believed and received the only gift in this life that matters for all eternity? Tomorrow is promised to none of us. Today is the day of salvation. Well that's what our brother shared I added the scripture from James. There are many other scriptures. I share them often on this video. The ABCs, if you need to watch that again, if you have never believed on Jesus, 
and I share this frequently on the videos because it is so important in these final moments of the end of days, and we are in the final moments of the end of days. Even if I were wrong about that, even if you disagree with, with that, you must agree that people die today in the next 60 seconds, 105 people, approximately 105 people will breathe their last breath and go into eternity. Where will they spend the rest of eternity? There is heaven and there is hell. It's real. It's biblical truth. And this outlines, it is ridiculously easy for us because Jesus paid the price, always having been God, always existed. He laid down his glory, was born of a virgin, wrapped in flesh, lived a perfect life, never sinning, willingly gave his life on the cross of Calvary, shedding his precious blood, was died, was buried, and rose from the dead. If you believe that, you are saved. My brother's right. And I love the way, Brother Greg, that you say this the very nanosecond. I, I love that. You know I'm going to borrow that now forever. I, I just, I love that. The very nanosecond we believe we are sealed by Holy Spirit, the Bible says, until the day of redemption. Truth. Biblical truth. And so I just want to encourage you with that. Uh, today, Romans 10, 9, and 10. If we confess the Lord Jesus with our mouth and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved. For it is with the heart that man believes and is justified. Look at the order. And then with the mouth, a confession is made unto salvation. Praise God. That's the word of God. Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 for we are saved by grace through faith and not of ourselves. It's not by works, lest anyone should boast. You are not saved by works. You are not kept by works. You are saved for works, but not saved nor kept by it. Because when you believe that nanosecond, your past, present, and future sins are no more. 2 Corinthians 5.21, He who knew no sin became sin, that we might become the righteousness of God. You can say, well, Pastor Tim, but I've done these horrible things. I, I went through emails. We got caught up. Praise God. I, I just want to say to the brothers and sisters, you bless me. Your emails, your testimonies, praise God. I also want to say uh, to those who question, how can I know? How can I know? Here you go. This is truth. This is truth. The Lord paid the price. He made it so easy for us. That's why it's called the free gift of salvation. Today, if you have not believed on Jesus, if you have tried to say, well, I have to, so many people tell me, well, I have to get my life in line before I can come to God. No, no, no. Admit you are a sinner in need of the Savior and then believe on him. Believe on his, as, as the brother put it, and I say maybe in other words, but it's a believe in the finished redemptive work of Jesus Christ on the cross and his blood that paid the debt for your sins to atone for the remission of all your sins, past, present, and future. He died and rose from the dead. You will be saved. And he's coming soon. And even if not, even if you breathe your last breath, praise God you would be with him forever. Well, brothers and sisters, God loves you fiercely and passionately. I love you. Feel free to share this video. Subscribe, click the bell. I'm not sure you'll get the notifications. Some report they don't. Share it, share it. Share the gospel. Use this information on my videos any way you'd like. For the glory of God, we, we want to we exist to worship God in spirit and in truth, build one another up in the faith, and reach out to a lost and dying world. Again, God loves you fiercely and passionately. I love you too. I'll be on in one hour for live prayer. So come, bring your supply. There are testimonies we are getting in of, of salvations. I am so encouraged of healings. Oh, praise God. I, I was in tears as I was going through many of the emails 
of, of the testimonies. You guys just blessed me and your encouragement and your love. You truly blessed me. And praise God, some of you showed me for those massive amounts of emails that come in how to stop that. And I really appreciate that. That way we can attend to the, the legitimate questions and the legitimate needs of the brothers and sisters. Well, again, God bless you. Hope you can join us in an hour for prayer. Shalom.